So I'm starting to really feel this trip. I'm tired, I'm hot. Uh, I thought about going off the beaten path because I know you can find a bunch of stuff. There were so many small places, but sometimes when I'm tired like this, I just want to go to a big place and kind of blend in. So I've arrived in Williamsburg and I'm at Williamsburg Antique Mall. I've never been here before. So I'm gonna go in, looks like it's pretty decent size here. I've had a single day where I found as many spectacular pose dolls as I have, although the clown is 45. This is an interesting one. Is there a discount here? No, I don't see one. Thought it was gonna be a planter at first. It's a bookend. That is really neat. 21 is definitely a fair retail price, but not enough for resale. I'm kind of into this pillow. Oh wow, that's weirdly heavy. I love these kind of random boosts. This, this kind of caught my eye from afar. Oh yeah. $5 crack on back. Dang, that's a bummer. These ones are kind of hard to find, especially at a decent price. Oh, she's cute. 22. That's actually almost exactly on the money. So there's a few things going on here. One, this is perhaps one of the weirdest things I've found. Uh, it's only $3. It's got some paint loss on its face, but it's just kind of spectacular. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Weird is, weird is what I love the most, I think. Now I also saw this little coin purse, which I think is absolutely pretty. It's Irish linen in the original bag. $12 is probably about what I'd get for that after fee, so I'm gonna put that back. Yes, I know, they've got such great lists. This Remco, looks like Remco. Mm. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was doing. This uh, paper doll here. She's pretty spectacular. I love that she's got real hair. I've never seen one quite like that. I think I am gonna go ahead and look this up. Well, of course, I don't get a uh, cell service right here. This Tony the Tiger thing is incredible too. It's $90, it's probably something to that. Hmm, I'm tempted to get her just because of the box and the fact she's got real hair. It's pretty spectacular. It's kind of a unbearable shape though. Hmm. See if I can get service around the corner here. Still trying to get service, but I saw this. What a unique piece of pottery. It's a planter. Very cool. So unfortunately, the prices are kind of all over the place. It doesn't justify getting this, mostly just because of the size. If it was a smaller box, I would, um, but it would take like a special, you know, big box to ship this in. And I'd rather keep things easy to pack. Love this vanity case. That's a pretty great price too, 16 bucks. Look at this little telephone. This looks like it could be new. Yeah, it's definitely new. Hmm. Funky Tiger, Taiwan. This don't sell that quickly for me. Fun, 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 fun. Wait a minute. Department 56. I don't know why it is that a lot of Department 56 stuff totally catches my attention. Look at these mugs. Those are fun. $10 each, I'm assuming. Yeah. Penguins. Interesting. I'm pretty sure these are new. They're so goofy. They're hobbyist pieces. Not, um, it's not dated, just signed. Most of the stuff in this booth is uh, new. I couldn't help but <laughs> pick this up though. $15, $12. Either way, that's probably about what I'd sell that for. It's so fun, 12 bucks. Uh, turtle. I am keeping my eyes peeled over here. It's a lot to going on. It's all new though. That is such a pretty ring. Oh, look at this duck, how great. And the Coca-Cola dispenser, that's pretty neat. 
giant pile of ashtrays, but this is what caught my eye. Oh my gosh, $95. Wow, I can't believe I picked it up like that, and I can't believe it was sitting like that. I was gonna say, this is a rare one, but that's, uh, man, I, I really don't even wanna put this back, honestly. I'm so nervous now. They're all are definitely on the pricey side now that I'm taking a closer look. Oh, it's one of these. That's neat. It's falling apart a little, though. They definitely like their Christmas here. Uh, pricey, though. Gosh, so many awesome things. Whoa. What's this guy? Oh, I thought it was gonna be Repop at first, but it's not. It's definitely got age. Mohair Kangaroo, $45. That's too much for me to spend on that for resale, but gosh, it's sweet. Look at this soldier, how fun. Celluloid, $30. I love this bank. <laughs> what a goofball. 20 bucks. It's definitely a lot to take in. Uh, that is not what I thought it was. I love that stuffed elephant. It's 40 bucks though. Okay, I was looking at the planter, but what is this? Very cool. It's got some damage. Oh my gosh. Look at this Santa Claus. That is fantastic. He's only $7 too. I bought some choir people like this last uh, Christmas and honestly they didn't sell, but this Santa's got such a great face and he's only seven bucks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I mean, he's just so happy. All right, let's see. How much are you? $12, it's super fair, but I'm gonna pass. And one of these head banks. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. This lamp, oh, has crack, just kidding, I was gonna say. Oh my gosh, okay. First and foremost, that's uh, pretty spectacular, but I'm not trying to spend 19 on that. Let's see, 10%, $20 and up. That's new, that's not McCoy. Oh my gosh, look at all these figurines. Good grief. Lots. Little earring holders. I love the poodle and the strawberry. I'm gonna try these. $15 each, is that what that says? Or does it say eight? Men make houses, women make homes. I don't like that. Um, let's see. How much are you? I've had this one a bunch. $8.50, it's not a bad price at all. But I've had it three times in the past couple months, so I feel like it's a little played out. What is this? Interesting. This is kind of unique. Compote, $9.50, that's fair it's pretty unique i'm not sure how well it would sell it would probably do all right but not quick enough i am beelining straight for this cup and saucer how fabulous is she 20 dollars though no discount boy and girl oh that's that's why interesting what about the little crying babies on chair those are fun girl on chair so those are separate 20 each um, what is this? Monkey in a corset? That's fantastic. This is something I would totally buy for myself. Obviously, if it was cheaper, I'd get it for a resale too. I don't think I can justify getting this for myself though. I really don't need it and I just spent a day at the beach. Is that a wall pocket? I need to put my basket down for this. Uh, it is not. It's just a ceramic wall hanging. I don't see the pocket anywhere. 
That is really cool. It's only $20. I could definitely make a few bucks off that. Um, it's in really good condition too. Should I get it? I kind of feel like I'll regret not getting it. Being cheap. What is this little deer? I had to walk away from that. Uh, it's a little planter. That is cute. It's only eight dollars. Now that I can definitely justify. This will probably sell pretty quickly. I'm gonna grab that. This one's got a pretty unique look to it too, but can't. Eighteen is kind of pricey. This is fish planters. Giant. Fifty bucks. Wow. Neat. <laughs> neat. 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 I'm having a really hard time walking away from this booth. I'm going to go look at this and decide if I put it in my basket or put it back on the wall. What's this Dutch doll back here? How peculiar. $14. It's pretty fantastic. I think I'm going to go ahead and get that. It's in really good condition. Usually uh, these faces are pretty messed up. It's really funny size. Oh my gosh, stop. Look at this handkerchief. Oh, I don't know what this is, but I'm taking it. I'm not even going to investigate it any further. That's all the information I needed to know. It's only $4.50. Well, I don't have as much time as I kind of hoped for. Uh, I'm going to go down the street. There's one more. I was kind of debating back and forth, but... It's only like a mile or two away. So I only spent $55 in there, which is kind of crazy. So I've only spent $135 today so far. An overly ambitious plan in here. I'm trying to get through this place in 20 minutes because I have a couple places I love to hit on the way home. Um, this poodle is what I was looking at. It's, it's missing its uh, smaller ones as is oh it's next repaired that's a really pretty vase this cute little stuffed puppy dog it's only six bucks i'm gonna go ahead and grab that so far a lot of primitives oh my gosh i definitely spoke too soon it's a lot happening here all right bambi see what's going on here. Ah, it's so packed. $15. It's a little too close for me to get excited about. Lots of newer stuff. A couple cutesy old things, but that was the only thing that really popped out at me at first. Okay, this whole booth is 50% off. Again, very mixed bag. Adam and Eve. It's definitely new. They make ones that are kind of like that, that are made in Japan, that are older. These are really pretty. What is this camel thing down here? Not sure what's going on there. Tissue box. Gosh, it's just kind of everywhere. I'm really digging this mixed bag antique mall. I thought that said 39. It says 139. Don't want to get sloppy here. Oh, look at this monkey. Looks like ideal. Japan, $13. Oh, he's fantastic. Oh, he's got the original tag too. Unfortunately, he's got a broken foot. I don't think I'll be able to see past that. Could probably make a couple bucks off of him, but still, I'm trying not to buy damaged items. There's a lot packed in here too. That's a really pretty set. I must admit, this is not really what I was expecting. Oh, I love those voodoo dolls. They're new. Oof. They're new, but they're really fun. A lot of this stuff actually seems to be new. All right, some more mixed bag situation. <laughs> seems to be a lot of that. There's the thumb sucking monkey. I just had a couple of those. They don't do that well with them, surprisingly. Yeah, it's a lot of this, so I think I'm gonna take this little dog and check out here. Success. Uh, I was in and out of there in like 12 minutes, including checkout, which is great. 
I'm gonna head up towards Richmond. There's two places I love to go. I don't have the most time in the world, but hopefully it's enough to get through.